Today we'll be showing you how to install a race chip on a BMW 4.4 liter 8 cylinder twin turbo available across many of their models. Before installing the race chip, please wait until your engine is cool enough to work on. Put your parking brake or emergency brake on. If your vehicle is equipped with an alarm system, please disable it. Pop the hood, roll up the windows, close the doors, and press the lock button on your key fob and move that key fob 30 feet away. You're gonna wait about 10 minutes after for all the electricity to clear from underneath the hood. Now our A connection is gonna to go to our driver or right side turbo boost pressure sensor, which is located on the intercooler. To unplug the sensor plug, we're gonna pull up on the white locking tab and then press down. Then we'll take the male end of the OEM sensor plug and plug that directly into the race chip harness. And then we're gonna take our male end of the race chip harness and plug it directly back into that sensor, locking it in place with the white locking tab. Then we're gonna to go to our passenger side and do the same thing to the passenger side boost pressure sensor with our B connection. Again, lifting up and pushing down on the locking tab to unplug the OEM sensor plug. Then we're gonna take the female end of the race chip harness, plug it directly into that male end of the OEM sensor plug. Now the smooth side is gonna go onto the side of the locking tab. Go ahead and lock that in place and then plug the male end of the race chip harness directly back into that OEM sensor. Again, lock it in place with that gray locking tab. Now we're gonna route our race chip wiring harness. We wanna stay away from any hot and moving parts. Next step, we're gonna to move to our four mounting tabs. The really nice thing about these mounting tabs is you can mount horizontally or vertically. And if you ever need to remove the race chip for any service or warranty work, instead of having to cut the zip ties, instead, you can press down on the four corners to remove the locking tabs and leave the zip ties in place, but to remove the race chip. Now we're gonna unplug the deactivation plug. We're gonna to wanna to hang on to this. So you can replace the race chip with the deactivation plug if you ever have any warranty or service work. Then we're gonna install the race chip. Now using the longer of the supplied zip ties, we're gonna go ahead and mount the race chip away from any hot and moving parts, as well as someplace that's hard for moisture to get to. Now for just an example, we're gonna go ahead and show you you can mount it right here, but of course you can place it anywhere underneath the engine bay that is away from those hot and moving parts. We're gonna trim the excess ends of the zip ties and you're all good to go. Start in the default setting of the race chip for the first time you test drive the car. If everything works great, you can then move the race chip to the next level up. Be aware that the car needs some time to adapt before releasing the full performance upgrade. Now, get out, drive, and enjoy your race chip. 